Well, the push for a review of Article 55.3 of the 1992 Constitution through the December 17 referendum has brought up major disagreements, as may be aware, among key stakeholders, NPP, NDC, House of Chiefs, and other people. While government wants a yes vote, the no position is becoming stronger by the day. But is there a possibility of a withdrawal or a postponement under the circumstances? Here's a news desk report. The controversy started with the divided front of the National House of Chiefs over a yes or no vote. The president, Togbuya Feather the 14th, and his vice, Da Sebre Nanakwebwe, was the 7th for no, and the paramount chief of Sifia Miaso traditional area, Ojia Hoho Yaojebi the 2nd, and Ochehini Osaji for Amwetio for repainting for the yes vote. But government is of the view the chiefs are only worried about a reduction of their influence. Nowhere have they said that um, it should be no or they don't support what we are doing. What mm. they are trying to do, one, is to find out the role they can play, two, find out whether they can convince us that they should have a more enhanced role, like what was rejected at the, at the Consultative the, Assembly. Consultative assembly. Yeah. They want to find out whether they can still bring back some of the issues they raised. But all these things, we need to talk. Following from that, there have been several other positions of either yes or no from civil society groups and the Christian Council. Over time, I think it's done on us that our democracy is not giving us the development we need. And I think if we do not act quickly, um, the desire to see developmental results good income, more jobs for our youth, good quality education, uh, feeling secure in our homes and so on. People are not asking specific questions, but they're saying that this democracy is not working. A sudden U-turn from the main opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, NDC, calling for a no vote in the referendum has generated heated responses. The next challenge, mm -hmm. which I didn't look at, was uh, the cost okay. to political parties. Even now, that we sponsor only uh, 275 MPs, mm. you go and ask the MPs, how much sponsorship are we able to provide? It's a challenge. Whether we are in government or outside government, political parties half a handicap. However, the government holds a view that if stakeholders recommend a postponement or withdrawal and the president sees wisdom in it, he might go ahead with that advice. If the head of state and uh, head of gov uh, government takes a decision, that given the circumstances, the referendum should be put on hold. We should be mindful of the fact that expenditure has taken place. Hmm. Nobody should blame anybody for cause any financial loss mm. because positions were taken and assurances were given and no objections have been read until now and if represent things that oh if house of chiefs there appears to still be some differences oh gj what do you think oh um christian council muslim federation all these major groups what do you think mm. if at the end of the day the major groups all say that president we advise you don't go ahead. The president comes to broadcast to the whole world that after consultations with these groups, they've advised that we should hold on. We will all follow. The ruling New Patriotic Party, MPP, has been making overtures at the NDC, saying the party is acting in bad faith. All the political parties, civil society groups, the media and the general public all appear surprised, confused and even hoodwinked by the NDC abrupt U-turn last Tuesday. The only thing that can explain the NDC unexpected U-turn is that they are fully aware of the difficult task of getting the amendment through without a consensus. Well, the NDC says it is ready for that dialogue. That is the beauty of democracy because if you are going for negotiation, you must be prepared to shift positions. Mm. But we cannot have a situation where you hold on to your position and say that, then let us negotiate. Then there is no point in negotiation. Mm. 
Minister for Chieftaincy, Religious and Cultural Affairs, also hints of a possible dialogue between government and the chiefs. We have started engaging the president, the vice president of the National House of Chiefs, and uh, very soon, on the 12th of December, they will be having the National House of Chiefs meeting in Kumasi, and we'll be there to engage them before the referendum. As a no position gains ground, there are now calls by the Regional Reorganization and Development Minister Dambochi for a total withdrawal of the referendum over what he says are attacks on President Tekufuado's person. So, will it be a postponement, a withdrawal, or a go-ahead?